So I kind of went over a lot of what pain isn't or what pain is, and I'm not really giving you any help here. I'm not telling you how can we manage our pain other than um, a lot of just uh, psychology mumbo, mumbo jumbo. Um, but here is something that we can do. So point number six, managing your pain. Um, people are always saying, well, how do I get out of pain? Um, again, we want to turn to outward measures. We want to turn to um, the devices. Um, instead, I believe that if you manage your twos, T-O-O, -O, if you manage your twos, you can get out of pain very, very easily. So what do I mean by that? Uh, too intense, too much volume or load, um, too much frequency, too soon, right? So a lot of us, if we actually take a step back and we look at what's going on in our training program, we're probably doing too much of one, if not more of those things. So if I'm new, I've never worked out before and I go from, from never touching a dumbbell to going in six days a week and all I wanna do um, is upper body pressing, okay? That would be too much load, too much intensity, too much frequency, all bound up into one thing. My chances of injury have probably gone up, right? If you talk to any of your coaches uh, on site, I'm sure they will uh, know this principle uh, very soundly. Um, that is why you are paying for a coach to manage your programming. They're not just giving you exercises uh, because it's fun or creative. They're giving you exercises and they're managing those things. They're making sure, am I doing um, the right amount of volume when it comes to uh, a squat pattern versus a hinge pattern versus a press pattern versus a pull pattern. Um, and that gets managed over the time frame of a week, of a month, six months, et cetera, all the way through a year. Um, so manage your twos, definitely talk to your coach about your twos, especially if you're someone who is dealing with pain or always finds yourself in pain, let your coach know. This one, I think a lot of coaches might wanna fight me in the parking lot for. Um, I've gotten in a lot of internet battles over this one, um, but this is a hill I'm gonna die on. Uh, coaches are simply guessers, all right? We're just guessing, right? That's a hard pill to swallow as a coach, and as someone who has just trusted your training plan in a coach, right? What do you mean you're just guessing? Well, humans are weird. Humans don't follow uh, laboratory studies. We don't follow clinical studies. So I could do a study of 100 people and say that if you do X amount of weight on a back squat, um, all of my individuals um, gained X amount percent in their leg strength. And then you walk in and you do this exact protocol and you find no benefit. Um, so as coaches, I think we see this in the practical realm a lot. Um, we see this again and again. Um, so I think it's important to understand both as a coach and as uh, an individual when dealing with pain, we can't be afraid of the fact that we're just guessing. But it is an educated guess, okay? So Jared comes to me with his low back pain. I'm not just going to automatically say it is this Jared, and if I do that, I'm probably a pretty terrible coach. Uh, all right, Jared, let's run through some assessments here. Let's see what you can and cannot do. Are there mobility restrictions? Um, I might assume, okay, Jared's a pretty tall guy. I might assume, and he sits a lot, right? He's a busy guy. I might assume it's probably something with his hips. I am making a guess. Jared runs through his assessment. His hips seem pretty dang perfect. I was wrong, right? But now it told me what it's not. And now we can move on. Okay, it's not his hips. Let's actually look at the low back, okay? Yeah, he's really tight here. What's causing this? Uh, we can start to run deeper through that assessment, start to check off the boxes. Uh, it's kind of like a rabbit hole or a bottleneck. We're going from you know that 10,000 foot view, what may or may it not be, and we start funneling things down. With that being said, absolutely coaches, understand um, your role, work within your means, right? Don't be afraid to refer out athletes. Don't be afraid to ask your coaches for someone that they can refer you to. Um, I think the final point here is that pain is normal. Um, we have really made pain out to be this hideous monster. Um, when pain is something that we all go through. Let's look at lower back pain. 80% of all adults are gonna have some type of non-specific low back pain in their life. 
Um, 80% by literal definition is normal, therefore not having back pain is abnormal. Um, so if something is normal and we're afraid of it, I think there's a little bit of cognitive dissonance there. I think we have to be able to embrace pain. We have to be able to um, accept pain and then work with pain. So there's absolutely a time and a place for us to, to, to put the brakes on our training for a little bit, to say, hey, what's really going on here? What's the bigger picture? Is this chronic? Is this something that I really need to worry about? But I do think we've sort of romanticized this idea of any time I have a sensation, I have to stop, I have to fully retract from all of my training. Um, and now we're making humans out to be these delicate creatures uh, that we really are not. Um, so I think all of this kind of ties together, right? Pain is not a thing, pain is normal. And we have to now take all this and we have to have an open conversation with our coach. Um, and as coaches, we have to have an open conversation with our um, clients and our athletes. And we have to start realizing that we should not be afraid of pain, but instead we should start to educate ourselves around what pain is, what pain isn't, what are things I can do to alleviate pain, what are things I can do to get out of pain. Um, and I think if you start to have those conversations, whether with yourself or with, with a coach, um, you're going to start to realize and see that you're not, as in, you're not in as much pain as you were before you started having these open conversations. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for tuning in.